open your bible you are interacting with three dimensions of spiritual realities number one promises number two principles the modus operandi of the kingdom number three prophecies so before you ask god to come and play his role in your life make sure that you have walked in keeping this is the whole idea of living by faith four times in scripture the bible says the just shall live by faith in one of the expressions it says the just shall live by his faith so you have to find out what god has said and then find out the conditions connected listen carefully don't just find out what god has said alone uh -uh. finding out what god has said alone is not a fair bible study you must find out the point of commitment that is a balanced study of scripture what has god said deuteronomy chapter 28 for instance from verse 1 and 2 it shall come to pass give it to us please if thou shalt diligently hearken unto the voice of the lord to observe and to do all that i command you this day that the lord god will set you on high above the nations of the earth next verse it says and these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake you so don't just claim blessings and say i am above and not beneath that is true but that's not entirely true have you worked in keeping with the conditions that release the power of god on that wise are we together The Bible says, honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruit of all your increase. So shall thy bands be filled with plenty and your vats to overflow. Don't claim overflow if you are not working with the conditions. This is where believers keep mocking themselves. God is not committed where your obedience has not been released. If it be thou, bid me come. The man would have said, I know you, you are a kind God. He would have remained here. Bid me come now i take that step it is my responsibility to walk and he took that step and even when he sang god took responsibility and brought him back up again someone's life is changing in the name of jesus christ for instance please look up the bible says let the redeemed of the lord say so don't just say oh i know that i'm the redeemed have you said it it is a principle that whatever you are say it it's not just about the redeemed alone anything you believe that god has said you are he says among the many principles that makes it manifest in your life you must say it. let the anointed of the lord say so let the blessed of the lord say so are we together now many people know so but they don't say so the power is released at the point of speaking and god said and there was not and god wanted not and god taught the bible says where the word of a king is there is power there are many believers who keep speaking evil speaking a lot of wrong things about their lives and can i tell you this please look up most of you sadly believe that the more matured you are in the kingdom the more you throw away these things you call them elementary so to say why do i need to speak the word of god the times that we live in will surprise you if you ignore the simplicity of the principles of the kingdom hallelujah everything god has made you say it not once perpetually philemon 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might be effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ and the greatest way to acknowledge is by verbalizing it lord you have favored me i decree and declare that i remain favored i am blessed in the city i am blessed in the country a thousand falls by my side ten thousand by my right side none will hurt me with my eyes will i see and behold can i tell you god does not do what you want god only does what he says genesis 21 verse 1 and the lord visited sarah 21 1 genesis visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he had spoken if god has not said it 
if he has not spoken it the basis for performance is not there is someone learning you must learn how to live by the principles of the word of god i've taught you several principles through the years and connecting with our sunday services and all that you receive even during friday services here they are we continue to teach principles that help you let me give you an instance please look up let's assume you are in a financial situation right now or you are in any situation of loss anytime you are experiencing losses in your life it's not business or investment or job that brings you out go and read your bible from genesis to Re to revelation it is the responsibility of the prophetic that is god's authorized bailout system out of anything that is lost our last master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it and the axe head floated now when you live by the principles of the kingdom you live by this he spake a parable that men ought always to pray luke 18 and verse 1 and not to faint if you are not prayerful you are already violating the principles of the kingdom prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is not for preachers prayer is for men so the moment you realize that you are a man the bible mandates that you pray being prayerful is is not is not um how do i put it now it's a prerequisite for an excelling life whether you are an intercessor or not kingdom principles anything you want to build in your life you require wisdom it's a true wisdom is a house built by understanding it is established and through knowledge the rooms are filled with every pleasurable thing most of us have not found the place of wisdom we have not seen the excellency of wisdom in fact the bible puts it this way it says christ is the power of god and christ is the wisdom of god when the anointing manifests it manifests as the power of god and the wisdom of god there are issues in your life that is not power you need you need wisdom there are issues in your life that you need power it is still the ministry of the anointing that when the anointing is released it is manifested as the power of god and also the wisdom of god don't give the assignment of wisdom to power are we learning now kingdom principles apostle i don't have any friend i think it's just because i love god no the bible says he that wants friends must show himself friendly if you violate that principle you may be the most anointed person in your life you will never have anyone willing to invest their lives into yours let me tell you this please look up the time has come for us to ask yourself the values that i practice and the principles that i live by where do they come from let god be true and every man a liar when i came into zaria i was just looking around and you know i've, I've received so many text messages from people apostle times are hard finances things are down as we are right now we don't even know and let me tell you i sympathize with this but can i tell you my dear people we are not the first to be at times like this there was a time in the bible they said money failed money failed that people came and said buy us by the immutability of god's counsel if it is true that you engage the principles that that make for god's financial resources to come to you you will marvel and wonder let me give you a few of the principles number one there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. the bible says there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty but that is not the only principle principle number two the gift of a man will make room for him and bring him before so if you scatter alone and you are not valuable you will still suffer because the equation is not complete a lazy man will not plow by reason of the weather and he will beg in harvest it is still part of the principle don't pick part of it pick the whole council the challenge with believers is that we pick the most convenient part of kingdom principles that suit us and we find out it does not work you must embrace the whole council that releases that dimension of god you desire convenient or not that is where the grace of god comes in 
so that where your strength would ordinarily not be able to help you through you can now obtain that enabling grace is someone learning now if the only thing you do is tithing and giving dear people hear me resources will come but you will not perpetuate wealth that way there is a place of value there is a place of relationships there is the wisdom of increase there is the law of management these are all principles together that make for increase which one have you neglected how about longevity do you know that there are kingdom principles that are allotted for longevity the first law of longevity is honor to parents in the lord it says honor your father and your mother that your days may be long comma and it may be well with you it is a terrible thing for your days to be long and it's not well with you because you will pray for death longevity is useless if it comes with a plethora of pain so our society that has been trained to dishonor people spiritually and physically dishonor elderly people they are not intelligent they didn't go to school you are you are authorizing the realm of the spirit to cut short your life what is the second principle for longevity i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing choose life the first way to choose life is to verbalize it then in addition to it you walk in keeping with the principles that are pro-life for instance taking care of your body when you take care of your body it is your commitment to tell god and the realm of the spirit that you intend to live long you are careless with your body eat anything drink anything you are signing up for death is someone hearing yes another principle of longevity guard your heart with all diligence for out of it comes the issue of life job said the things that i feared most has come upon me you must protect your mind is god teaching us now yes we must be honest and strong and matured to live by the principles of the kingdom i submit to you that many believers are not living by the principles of the kingdom apostle i want to excel okay show me the principle you know about excelling in life because the bible relates excellent to something called an excellent spirit have you embraced it the name of the lord is not only great it is excellent oh lord our god how excellent is your name to excel means to surpass ordinary standards and excellence has principles one of the principles of excellence is to be thorough attention to details if you are not a thorough person in your life you have neglected the law of excellence there will be a side effect are we together now apostle i want to see favor in my life show me what you know about favor i know god favors people you are right but that will not bring you favor god grants favor i have asked him he will give me yes prayer is only one of the five keys that control favor the first law of favor is honor the second law of favor is productivity the third law of favor is relationships you see that the fourth law of favor is impartation 
you can't do one over six and expect favor to be lavishly at work in you the real secret for favor is understanding proverbs 13 15 it says good understanding procured favor but the way of the transgressor is hard So there are many things we just shout around that does not speak in our lives because we are not working in keeping. Are you understanding point two now? That you want to thrive in these days. Your life. You must bring together all of the keys of the kingdom that you know and engage them with understanding. How about divine health? Is there such a reality as divine health? Absolutely. But what are the keys? What are the keys? Number one, the first law of divine health. Look up please. The first law of divine health is your words. Your words. words very important your words let the weak say i am strong your words because when it has to do with living you live through food and words you are eating well you are not speaking well you will still die words i shall not die believe and declare the works of the lord amen that's my confession even at this time that i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord amen. as simple as this sounds even when you are sleeping that word is on you when the spirit of death comes you are sleeping but the word is awake he says what are you doing here it, because there are rules of engagement even in the realm of the spirit just because you are sleeping does not mean the word sleep they leave satan come to me jesus said and he found nothing jesus died because he laid down his life not because he was overpowered i shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Ah. See, I may not have all the control I need over who gives me what and what I eat. So before it arrives, I prophesy. Shali saparu katiaba. Mambraga doskati bradigadabasiata. No, I have no covenant with poison. I have no covenant with death in the pot. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Ah, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Prophesy one time to your destiny. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me
Say me. Don't wish it. Say it. Oh, apostle, I don't want to speak like that. I don't want to sound all this Christian jingoism. I assure you, when that arrow leaves our place, because we will drive it through our words, it won't go back. It will still be roaming around, looking for who is careless. Don't just laugh. Take seriously what I'm saying. There are people who have died cheaply. Can I tell you the truth? Especially if you plan to serve God seriously your life will perpetually be a threat to the kingdom of darkness do you know the amount of prophecies i've received in my life in the last three or four years apostle be careful by genuine prophets i remember one day somebody i know not in this nation a very genuine prophet everything he has told me happened accurately to the digit and he said apostle be careful i saw an attack on you that day i was going somewhere i told him thank you it's not easy to die like that oh. so don't think I'm just here talking nonsense with you you ask the devil it's only when we go to heaven we will know how many times they have concluded that today finally and two weeks later you are still moving as if the devil does not exist look let me tell you this please look up do you know that don't feel bad if you've lost a loved one that's not the idea now that you are alive focus on what god is doing in your life do you know that many many days and months before people actually die they are already dead in the realm of the spirit go and read your bible in the book of esther and you will find out that her man consulted with diviners to know the day that they will strike job chapter one tells us that a meeting was happening in the realm of the spirit and they were concluding the destiny of a man the man woke up one morning not knowing that that day disaster will start before it arrives let your word stand as a city as a defense and say thus far have you come his father did not know this so you took him the mother did not know chẳng thể đối thay một cuộc sống không em anh phải làm sao đây từ thương lấy mình thôi đớn đau nhiều rồi từ mình vô về thôi khi không ai cạnh bên tập yêu bản thân thôi để không phải buồn you took her the sisters did not notice but now let your words be a defense over you can i tell you this don't feel offended we thank god for those who have gone but hear me the bible does not say believers die the bible says believers sleep and paul said those who sleep sleep at night don't come in the morning wanting me to sleep no we sleep at night I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day days for walk that is the scripture that you bring days for walk why do you want me to sleep in the day <laughs> please know this can i tell you it is the gun you see or the knife that you see that makes you afraid the one you don't see is the one machines cannot diagnose you just know there is pounding headache and machines say you are absolutely fine absolutely fine and you know that something is wrong some of you by this revelation you are getting now 
the devil is already threatened because you don't know what may have been on the schedule oh their plans will fail again and again because the word of god stands and lives forever are you learning please sit down you must learn to live by the word living carelessly just living by instincts by feelings will be a risk in this time for instance the bible says as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god it's a risk to not be close to the ministry of the holy spirit death can call you like an invitation and you can just carry yourself and get into trouble there are people who left their houses because of insensitivity and lack of discernment they went and landed into trouble somebody stole and just when police arrived they were gathering everybody there. you were in your house minding your business and you say something push me as soon as you came out they said join them you see how people look for trouble you need high level sensitivity these are seasons where not every open door is god's door for you it's not satan does not only close doors he opens doors can open a door for you you call it breakthrough and go and crash land yourself in trouble people are just jumping around and say ah, there's one business like this everybody is doing it no prayer no counsel the bible says in the multitude of counsel there is safety you don't ask you jump into it and the next thing you just hear that they are calling you you call your parents say you're of age please go and you go and stand there and you begin a circle of pain is someone learning now yes. i remember one time in zaria here somebody told me that he used to hear a voice he didn't know anything about the realm of the spirit and he would hear a physical voice this is the voice of a departed person who had gone calling him you know and he thought it was a dream you know like your sister you like you are, are dreaming you are awake and i told him i said listen when you get up don't just say yes and whatever it is yes is giving it permission you take your bible and say the living and the dead have nothing in common there is there is there is a gulf of separation don't answer yes to the call of death and die for no reason you wake up and there is a demonic dream they are throwing you inside coughing they are burying you when you get up don't say i'm finished in the name of jesus i take authority over that dream everything remains as a fiction in the realm of the spirit until your faith allows it to find expression here say after me in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am exceptional say in the name of jesus i am anointed say in the name of jesus i am blessed in the name of jesus i am favored in the name of jesus the word of god defends me i shall not die but live and declare the works of the lord decree and declare say men are sent by god to hold my hands and to lift me that when men say there is a casting down i make it